Rightio, let's start by going up to Window and switch on the Gradient and Swatches panels. Next, we'll select the Ellipse tool, click and hold Shift to draw a circle, align this to the center, and then create a duplicate of this shape by going to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in Place. Hold Alt or Option and Shift and scale down. Create a copy of this shape and scale it so it aligns with the left edge. Select everything and align vertically. You can also duplicate shapes by holding down Alt or Option and dragging. And if we select both of these circles and use the copy and paste in place shortcuts, we can then rotate 90 degrees holding Shift, select everything, go to the color picker, turn off the white fill, make sure there is no stroke and then pick a color of your choice. I'm going to go with a light blue. Go over to the swatches panel and create a new swatch. Make sure global is checked. And then from the color picker, I'm going to pick a darker blue as well. Again, I'm going to create this as a global swatch and select everything. Just move that down a pinch so it's in the middle and then click anywhere on the gradient slider. Now I can double click on each of the colors and assign the custom swatches that I created. You can also change the gradient type, the gradient angle, or just reverse the gradient altogether using the options above. Next, I'm going to press Command or Control Y to go into outline mode, select everything, and go over to the Shape Builder tool. Now I can select individual segments, click and drag through, and combine these into a single shape. And if your finger slips or you just make a mistake, you can go up to edit at the top of the screen and select undo. Lastly, I'm going to hold alt or option and click on the segment in the middle. And instead of combining, this will remove this segment from the shape. And once you've got to this point, it's really just a case of selecting the individual segments, fine tuning the gradient so you're happy. And then you can go in and select those global swatches you created. And because they're global, you can edit them from the swatches panel and it will update the colors throughout the entire document. And there we go, that wraps up the video. So I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, hey, why not subscribe? Ring the old bell as well. Take care and I'll see you next time.